Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Labyrinth of Limitations. And uh, it's been a while since I've made an episode. I've got some things in the works I'm excited I'll be sharing soon about some uh, uh, reworkings of things. But um, right now, I'd like to talk about something Chris Parks was talking about at uh, Things I Learned from Barry Harris in his last episode. And that is the beauty of half steps and ways that we can practice them. And he was doing this over C minor 6 diminished, the scale. So um, that is this scale. That's the scale. And we can do it in all these floors of what I call the elevator that I've developed for polyphony with this. So what I did there was unison. That is the unison floor. Whether I change strings, you know, And that's the first floor of the elevator. And Chris was talking about how you can play a half step beneath anything. It's always great. So, you know, these are nice. That's the unison floor. And then Chris did, and I'll link to this video he did. He did thirds. Right? These pretty sounds. Those are thirds. He did triads. I'll just do a couple. Whoops. Messed up there. Uh -huh. Really pretty sounds. And he did it in, in any voice you can think of doing this. So you could do, you know, he, he's showing you how to do this or, or any of that stuff. All that's great. I think he went up to shell chords, what he did. And I'm going to start from shell chords. I'm going to share some ways of practicing that I really like for this. Um, so what do we have? We're looking at C minor six, and we'll look at applications in, in progressions in, in a tune. But, um, so I'm looking at shell chords. So this is the way Chris was practicing it, which is fantastic. And we could do two notes. So, and then we could even do three notes. What I do a lot when I'm playing this in my improvisation is I will land on the off note a lot. I do this type of gesturing in all kinds of ways because I love it. So I'll go like... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm just... That's what in classical music terms you would call that an, an accented uh, neighbor tone. Accident chromatic neighbor tone. Accented lower chromatic neighbor tone, I guess, is what you would call that. And um, so I'm going, hmm, that is just wrong. Now in this case, that happens to be in the scale, that is the sharp five, but I'm just thinking half step below. Sometimes it'll line up with something in the scale, and sometimes it won't. So here, so I like that sound quite a lot. I think it's really fun in any voice. So I'll be like, you know, in a middle voice type of thing. So I go. And that is, F, I did C minor 6 to F minor 6. There. So um, those are just some examples of how I like to lean on them. But um, so you could practice. Just like Chris was showing, it's really systematic. It's nice to be systematic. So in any floor of the elevator, um, I'm going to stay with shell chords for a second here. Um, but um, I like this. Whoops. There we go. So I'm going to start with that note. I love that sound. And then... Right there. And then... Pretty sounds. That was just the top voice. You know, but I could do any voice doing that. Now, um, what about this? What about, so So Chris was pointing out how these tend to be from below when doing the half step and then scale tone above. And that it seems to be the case in lots of composition. Um, I was working with a student yesterday on this 19th century piece by Johann Caspar Meritz called Elegy. There's a passage that goes like this. <laughs> pretty passage and what he's doing is this in in a minor six you could say he wasn't thinking that he's probably just thinking a minor triad but and then what he does is 
a scale tone above. So he goes third, fifth, up, root, third, and he goes, and he could have gone, but he goes, he goes a scale tone above, not a half scale. See, that often won't work unless it coincides with an actual scale tone. Though there's exceptions and there's things, um, plenty of things to talk about that um, Chris has talked about some of those exceptions on his channel. But uh, so what that is, that gesture is just going. Mm. It could have done it, but instead he goes, it could have done this. He just does this. Really pretty. He could have gone. Here. All these little ideas. But I like looking at the fact, yeah, so let's let's do this. Half step below on this shell chord, but then we're gonna go scale degree above as we go up the scale. So we're gonna do this. Shell chord, shell chord, shell chord. Shell chord, shell chord, shell chord, shell chord. And shell chords could be looked at as parts of other chords, you know, like it's the lower end of a drop two, but I really just wanna see it as, as itself. And I've talked about what shell chords are in a YouTube short not too long ago. And in my elevator episode with the doc, undocument, um, that's episode 16. Basically, it's just taking out one of the middle voices, either the uh, alto or the tenor. So it's either gonna be this or this in this place where C is in the bass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, mm, mm, and I'm going to go up, mm, and I'm going to go, mm, and I'm going to go, mm, mm, whoops, mm. see that sounds like, yeah, so we go, mm, pretty sounds. Mm. Really pretty, just those. Dum. And I move through a progression a bit. So that's a nice thing to practice, going half step below and above. You can do all these permutations. You could go like, and then you could go. So I'm on each one, I'm going half step below and then the scale tone above. That's are nice. All these things are nice. So then what about context in music? So what about, um, so C minor six could be our root. It could be the tonic, I mean. So it could be the one chord. So you got C minor six, then you go to what people commonly call uh, D minor seven flat five or D half to minus seventh, but I'll call it F minor six. And then I'm gonna go to G seven and then C minor. And on G seven, I'm gonna play A flat minor six, which is the tritones minor. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, Maybe I'll start with the two chord. I'll start here. I'm gonna... What I did there was I played F minor six, a little shell chord, bottom end of a drop two. And then I go A flat minor six, and then C minor six. I'm just doing the shells though. I'm not really seeing it as part of a drop two. And that's important. Things need to be treated just in and of themselves if you're going to be fast with them, I, I think. That's my, my opinion. I mean, feel free to do it how you want. But um, that's really nice, just landing on the uh, half step below note first. So I'm thinking this, but I'm going, and I'm thinking this, and I'm thinking this. That's pretty. I'll do up, up the scale. I'll start instead of here. I'll start. So, so that's F minor six. I'm just a half step below the six of that chord. And then, and then down to really pretty. And then I'll do it up here. Whoops. Maybe. up that time instead of I could have gone down so that's F minor six I started on the uh, on the normal note and went a half step below just because I like the gesture but it could have been um, mm. Mm. pretty 
So those can be done, you know, anywhere. Those are nice. Um, then looking at some other context of using C minor six. So C minor six could be um, a, a one chord, like I was just doing, but it also could be a two chord. It could be a six on the five or something. It could be a tritones minor or something. These are the things that we get to reuse things. So um, I was thinking of uh, doing this in the bridge of all the things you are because it uses a C minor six as a two chord. And then you could use a C minor six as a um, five chord as the tritones minor because it goes. Um, so here's C minor six because it's A half to minor seventh or A minor seven flat five. And then maybe I'll just go to E flat minor six, tritones minor D. Keep it simple. A little out of tune. That's what's gonna happen. And that was B. So that's the context I'm in. And so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go mm. there was I went C minor 6 but I went uh, and then I'm gonna go E flat minor 6 and then I'll put basses underneath that to help your ear if it if it helps so um mm, so That was as a two chord, C minor six. Now I'm playing A minor six. Here's C minor six again. C goes in. goes back to the um, the main section really pretty stuff I think I think it's really pretty so I hope you guys like it too um, I have a little note on the floor here of just things I was gonna think it would be nice to talk about half step below um, this is all just like shell chords is what I got through huh um, um, another thing that I like to do just like this so I will do that just if we are on so so I'll go So what I did there was in thirds, like that. So I go. I like that sound. I'm just playing the top note half step below of thirds of C minor six, just going up the chord. This is root and third, root and third, third and fifth, six and root, and then uh, root and third. So like that. So you could have been duh, 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 if I were in that back to the bridge, and I'm gonna go. So hmm, I'll do it into like this, and I'm gonna go. kind of context but I guess back to the C minor context to finish is I go pretty right you know pretty sounds so anyway it's been a little bit longer than I expected it's hard to be short but these things are so many little ideas but these are some things of practicing half steps in in just some musical applications and then I would really encourage you and I will link to this Look at Chris's wonderful episode, um, and uh, and he's really showing you how to practice. You know, just this nice methodical way of going, or or just in your thirds, or or in triads, or in.
an octave or 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 any number of things. Um, would that work? Whoops. So. kinds of pretty sounds could happen. Um, that was just the octave chords. Drop twos, drop threes, drop two and fours, all the things have beautiful things to do. And I guess one more thing I, 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 that's nice to say, I have an episode about it. Maybe I'll put a little tag to it here. But it's about how you can um, take your minor sixes. So say if you are expressing a dominant with your minor six. So say it is expressing um, C minor six expressing B7 because it's the tritones minor. I could play C minor six, and I could lower by half step the fifth of this C minor six chord, and lower any other note. Whoops. So what do I do? Yeah. And then, pretty sound there, so I'm going. And we'll find one of the family of dominants, one of, the, one of them. So it'll find every one except for the one that that is actually the true dominant, actually, I think, is what will happen. Well, I guess it depends. It depends. I'm on the tritones minor, so. Um, it would express uh, everything but the tritone in that case. So I could go. So, so I could go. Mm. I'm just playing all I did was take C minor six lower the fifth and the third of the chord in that case it could have been the fifth and the root pretty sounds you know so anyway there's new stuff coming um, and I'll be sharing with that soon sharing that with you soon hopefully but I hope that this has been a fun kind of just further exploration of this beautiful idea of half steps below and they really are nice um, thanks everybody for following this channel and I will talk to you soon. Okay, uh, keep practicing.